Hey guys, um, oh, whoops. Uh, Aftermath Gaming here, gonna give you guys my opinion on TF2, obviously a game I play a lot. I think it's like the, almost, like half, at least half the gameplay on here in frag videos. Anyway, um, the Gunmetal update is here, and my opinions on it are mixed. Uh, you know, you got, you got this stuff, you got the skins, it's, it's kinda like CSGO now. Um, I, the reason why I'm mixed on it is because I feel like TF2 already had this with hats. Um, it works in CSGO because they didn't have something like this. They didn't have the personalization. Um, now they kind of do. I mean, you know, you can use whatever weapons you want and stuff. Like, cool weapons, skins. But we already had that in TF2 with, uh, with hats and stuff, you know? Um, like, I don't see them putting hats in CSGO. Because it just doesn't work. Uh, just like weapons, I don't think it's gonna work in TF2. Um, maybe I, we'll see. Um, it's live right now. I'm about to go try it, and I'll probably post a video on that as well. Um, another thing that sucks is that they literally copy and pasted this factory new field test battles card. They have minimal wear, or whatever, um, as well. Um, I, uh, a thing that I'm happy about though is that the money is going to community map makers. That is awesome. I love that. Uh, some of it at least, and then here's some of the skin previews from different cases or whatever. Um, what I don't like is the unusual effects on the weapons. Like so we're gonna have people like taunt. There's unusual taunts now. You're gonna have unusual taunts with like exploding weapons while like, burning flames with like orbiting fire and just like orbiting skulls and like explosions going everywhere. Like while their like weapon is like glowing green. Like I what. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I just think TF2 is gonna like you're gonna. It, it's gonna be like the memes, like the like the literal memes. Like if like y you can, not like meme, but like the pictures that depict TF2 as being just like hat simulator. That's what this is going to be. You're gonna be in like under a pile of cosmetics. There's gonna be so much personalization in this game. It's going to be insane. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. I I don't know. I'm gonna get the skins because I play this game too much. Like, it's my life. Um, I shouldn't get the skins. I shouldn't spend more money on this game. But I'm going to because it's the thing now. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks. But I'm going to do it. Because Valve is just sucking all the money. Okay. Um, I'm glad they added maps. Lovely. Love it. Great. Borneo. I've been playing it for, like, what, two, three seasons in UGC now. Should have added it a long time ago. Good. Um... Oxygen, good. I love it. Um, I it, from these it looks really, really beautiful. Uh, can't wait to play. Uh, Snowplow. I think I played on this map a few times as well. <sighs> taunts, new, nothing new, just taunts. Um, and the gameplay mechanics. Now, I'm only gonna talk a little bit about Spy now because all of this would take me probably 45 minutes to thoroughly go over. Um, so this stuff's pretty cool. Um, I'm liking this stuff. While invisible, Spy receives 20% less damage from all damage sources. Amazing. Um, yeah, this this stuff is great. They're, they just like buff buff Spy so hard. Um, so hard. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the kunai is amazing now. Um, all these little changes come together and make a really really good good change. Cloak and Dagger is awesome. Spicicle is amazing because of this one line of text right here. This one. Um, Enforcer, they nerfed it. It was not really OP. It was just super annoying to play against because like, who wants to get like two shot every single time from a gun? Like, I, from, from a pistol, from a spy. That's like, no. Like, a Ambassador, okay. Because you, ha you have to actually have skill for that, right? Not the Enforcer, you just WM1. No, 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 no. This, this, no. Enforcer, good, good change. Okay, big earner, nobody's gonna use this still. Doesn't matter, added three seconds, speed gain on kill, whatever. Um, Dead Ringer, yes, okay. Now, they nerfed it and buffed it in a few different ways. Um, they buffed it by, um, give, this, this line right here is what I'm really excited to try. Um, this one's a cool, I guess, I don't think this is gonna come into play as much. Um, this one's okay. Uh, this sucks. This this sucks right here. Uh, 
That's a real bummer. So I don't know. Um, I, I I think they're trying to switch him around a little bit, which I'm really happy about. Um, obviously this is for competitive because they're they're about to announce competitive on the end of the game, and they want to add all these changes to balance it out for the new coming players. I wish they had done this sooner for like the hardcore gamers, not hard hardcore diehard fans for TF2. Um, but I understand the reasoning. They put a lot of time and effort into changing the weapons when it's going to make them money, which is okay. Uh, the skins is going to make them so much money. Um, I'm probably going to fund most of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, all right. That's been my opinion on this. Um, it should be really good for the community. Uh, my opinion on whether the, the skins are good or not is it's not really relevant. I don't like them very much. Um, I haven't seen any core cool revolver skins at all, and uh, and so far they've only they've only done skins for the default weapons, which bite, which is a huge bummer, because uh, all the revolver skins look like complete trash. Uh, <laughs> so, and I don't even use revolver anyway. Whatever. It's my point of view. Um, go, it's up right now. Have fun. Go jump into it. I suggest you try it. Competitive is coming soon. If not, with this update, um, they've source they put all tf2 on the source 2 i think with an with or they may it's coming very very soon so that should be really really cool and uh yeah bye guys